Time for Sid 6-0. This is where I got 60 seconds to talk. Start the clock, please. Here's what's on my mind this morning. When our men's national soccer team refused to play in Vancouver a few weeks ago over a financial dispute with Canada Soccer, there were plenty of warning signs that this was serious. Hearing head coach John Herdman, a man normally full of joy, talk to the media joyless, ranked right up there. You know, these guys are, are fighting for something bigger, and it was a tough moment. No one wanted that to happen. The players didn't. And I think you've got to understand when they make decisions like that, that was a heavy decision that weighed on them very heavy. But it let you know that, you know, in their minds, there was a reason for that. And I have to respect that as a coach. I think for the fans, you don't want to see that. And we better not see it again. Canada's World Cup opener against Belgium happens in exactly 162 days. Both sides need to make peace or this entire run that captivated the nation's attention is for nothing. Donovan Bennett of Sportsnet joining us. Canada did lose in Honduras 2-1 last night. They do not have another game scheduled for a long time. To me, it's not even a headline. I'm still thinking of nine days ago. Donovan, when you look back at what happened in Vancouver, have you, have you rethought it at all? Have you changed your perspective? No. It's a wasted opportunity. It's unnecessary. Uh, it's self-mutilation in a way. Like, help yourself if you are a stakeholder for this beautiful game in this beautiful country, in a country where we've always stepped on our own toe when it comes to soccer. And it seemed like for the first time, all of uh, you know the oars were rowing in the same direction for a little bit. But we're a couple days away, uh, not long away from hearing an announcement of what cities are going to host a World Cup in this country? We are months away from sending a team to the World Cup in this country. And yet, in this country, hanging over uh, the sport is um, allegations of misconduct in terms of uh, the role of the NSO in a sexual assault uh, lawsuit, uh, fighting openly with the players and the national sports organization and really no alignment in terms of what pay equity looks like between the men's side and the women's side in the middle of all of that is john herdman who has coached both the men and the women who has many of the men playing on this team because of his word and his trust and he's still trying to recruit more all telling them that what you've heard about canada soccer in the past is gone it's a new day He's also on the front line talking to potential advertisers and sponsors saying, this is the sport, this is the group you want to back. And swirling above this is two canceled games. Vancouver in a city that has always supported the national team, quite frankly, fed up because they paid for two games that didn't happen. And there was a sparse crowd at the game that did happen. I would love to get to a point where we're just talking about the brilliant players on the pitch. And quite frankly, the brilliant players that are coming through the pipeline. But once again, we don't have that luxury in this country. Well said, Don. I mean, I'll, I'll end it with this. There, there's some people I respect in this country who are on the wavelength of, you know what, we got this is embarrassing, and we got to stop kind of attacking each other here. You know, that's a nice thought. But the fact that a World Cup is coming to Canada in 2026 and the fact that our national team on the men's side are going to a World Cup, that doesn't make us a World Cup nation. We are Bush League in a lot of ways here, a lot of ways. And, I, and you, you and I have seen a ton of stuff soccer-wise in this country to, to completely back that up. You have to break some eggs to make a soccer omelet in this country, and we're doing that now. We're having some honest conversations. So the notion that we just have to kumbaya our way to, to Qatar and ignore some really important financial situations and disorganization I think is wrong. I don't think we're eating our own in this country. I think we're having the conversation. Sometimes difficult conversations have to happen. I don't care what walk of life you're in. We're having them now, and it'll get rectified. But to act like we can just push this aside and, oh, we're doing more harm than good. No, no, no. we got to have these conversations. I do support the players. This has to get rectified. Donovan Bennett, to be continued. Ale LaRouche, yes. appreciate you. Yes.